we'll look at using buttons and quick replies. Okay, so let's make a category. Let's say we want the user to have um, a choice of two options. Okay, so we can say, um, let's look with, do you like, do you like chatbots? Now what we're going to do is we're going to use replies to give them two options. Now the reply tag, okay, is like this. Starts with an opening reply, ends with a closing one, as in all other tags. We have some text. Now the text is what's displayed to the user, and the post back means which category should we call if the user clicks on this reply. So let's say now we put the word yes, and the post back, we'll just say, um, choose yes. Okay, so this is just an example, but if I say, do you like chatbots? There we go, you see we've got an option that says yes, which is our text. Now if we click on it, it won't do anything, because what it's doing now is it's looking for an option of um, uh, choose yes. So we need to uh, create that ourselves. So, let's do it. New category. Choose yes. I'm going to put oh, awesome. We like you too. Okay. So let's see if it works. So do you like chatbots? Okay, so we click on yes. Awesome, we like you too. So what that's saying is if the user clicks on yes, call a category called choose yes. Yeah, and that's just a regular category there with a the template. Now, let's make this uh, more sensible. So ask me a question. And um, the question is, do you like chatbots? Yeah. So we need to give the user another option apart from just yes. Oops, sort that out. Okay, so what we need to do, let's give them the option of being able to say no. So in this case, we're going to call a category, choose no. And of course, we need to create our category. Are we going to get a match failed error? Choose no. Oh, that's a... Just up now. Okay, so let's see if it works. Ask me a question. Question is, do you like chatbots? Yes or no? Yeah. Now you can put as many of these replies in as you want, but if it gets, you know, if you get too many, it's not going to be a very good user experience. So we have the option, do you like chatbots? Yes, which calls choose yes and displays that, or if we choose on no, click on no, yep, all it's done there, it's gone down to the choose no option, and it says, you know, that's a shame, I'm sad now. So that's a nice easy way of doing replies, now you'd want that, if in case you, you, you're not allowing the user to just, you know, just type anything in there, you want to give them options, um, so it's probably rare, it wouldn't be yes or no, but it'd be something like, you know, which one of these do you want to pick, like given a, a, some menu options. Now as well as replies, what we can do is we can also add um, buttons. So let me just show you an example of that. Um, so let's say, just call it test, just so it displays something. Please pick an option. So let's assume we're making some kind of, um, I don't know, train ticket ordering bot or something like that. So what we'll have, we have two types of buttons. So just for now, we'll just do the post back button. Now this is exactly the same as the reply button, um, apart from one difference, which I'll show you when we're testing it. So let's say, um, ticket. 
And again, so it's exactly the same. Yeah, just put something in there. You need the category that it calls. So in our case, it's ticket. And then just uh, like a, a place placer. Uh, Let's just try that. So we've got a real basic button in test. Yep. Now, do you see the, the shape of the button's different there? The replies were just circles like next to each other. Buttons are listed underneath each other. But basically, they do the same thing. Um, now, when it's in production, the main difference is that the reply option, when you click on it, the options go. Yeah. It's just a quick reply and that's it, it's done. But with a button, this will remain on the chat box and the user can scroll back up and choose it again. So it doesn't work up on this one, but it will say, you know, do you like chat box? Yes, those two options will vanish when it's in a, a production box. Okay, now, as well as a post back for a button, what we can do as well is a URL button. Um, actually, let's just make a new one. URL button. Line it up. Okay, now a URL button is, as it says, say, it calls a URL rather than a category. So in the URL part, let's put our website address. So let's say, just for the example, we'll, we'll go to Google. Okay, right, so now if we try it, test. Yeah, so we've got a nice option there, but book a ticket or visit our website. If we click on visit our website, hopefully there we go, it is out to Google. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Um, what you can do as well is put um, you know, wildcards and things in here. Um, let's have a look uh, what we can do. Let's just make our own and a little search engine. Oops. I'll make a category. I'll put search for whatever. Yeah, oh, let's do uh, say that. Oh, that button. I'll try it open. Google. Oh no, no, I'll take open website. I'll put it HTTP. I'm getting it. Let's have it start. Dot com. Right, so let's see if this works. So we say something like search for BBC. Open a website. And with a bit of luck, there we go. That's the BBC page. Yeah. So let's go search for Amazon. Yeah. And there we go, is Amazon. So yeah, so you can add little um you know wild cards. Um same with text as well. You can uh, customize that. Uh you can put you know sets and gets and things like that, wild cards, stuff like that. Let's try uh yeah. something like that. Oh, let's say trees, trees, and go trees.com. <laughs> yeah, so buttons and uh, replies. As I said, the main difference is a reply uh, is um, just temporary, just to try and guide your users down there. It's a bit of different for circles. The buttons are more permanent, so the user can say, oh, actually, I want to uh, book a ticket again and things like that. Okay, that's buttons and replies.